Brooke here from brookemarie.com.au and this week I'm showing you how to use a ring sling. So I've completely fallen in love with this hubbub um, mesh ring sling specifically and I just wanted to make a video to show you how quick and easy one can be to use as well. So I'm going to give you a really few quick tips right now and then I'm going to talk really briefly about this specific ring sling as well. So I used to be completely that person who was like, I just hate ring slings. I hate them, can't do them. Nah, not for me. And I didn't go around and boast about it or anything because I knew it was really me that had the problem. It wasn't ring sling itself. And once I trained to be a consultant, I learned how to use one properly. And I was like, I really love these actually. They're really good. And that's what it comes down to really is just learning how to use one properly, practicing and making sure it feels right for you. And then the rest speaks for itself. So a few really quick tips is once you set it up, now you don't have to thread it through every time like I've showed you in the video. If Once you thread it through, you can keep it like that for forever if you wanted to, but normally it gets bunched after a few uses, maybe five uses. So you might want to re-thread it again, but don't stress about threading each time. So once it's on, you're ready to put baby in, put them in and let them just sit there along the fabric on your hip or off center, just let them sit there. Don't rush pulling the fabric up or rush tightening anything yet. Just let them sit there. And what you can do is lift their bottom and adjust the rings back to where you want them if you need to. And then once everything's good, calm, then you can pull the top layer up to their neck and you can go from there. But that's a really huge learning curve for me was when I was first learning, just let them sit there. Don't rush. So do that. Secondly, once you've pulled that fabric up, you've made a nice seat knee to knee, you're going to tighten. Now, most of us want to just tighten like this. Yep, 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 yep. I want to tighten, I want to be done, I want to walk away. But we don't do that. <laughs> That's going to move the rings down. It's going to not work. It's not going to tighten well either. So you're going to pull extra hard and then it's going to move. So what you're going to do is just gather the slack and just move it back to where the fabric came. So the top layer is here, you want to move that back. Middle layers there, you want to move it down, and the bottom layer. You're just going to follow it and make sure you're just doing it gently and, and lifting that weight if you need to, lifting the slack so you don't move these rings too much. That's another key point. Um, and that's really the two things that can throw you off. So if you just concentrate on those, you'll be good. And where you want the rings is around here. Um, but yeah, you'll figure out where you want them. You don't, you don't want any fabric up here. Make sure it's off your neck, spread over your shoulder and evenly across your back. So this shoulder will be restricted ever so slightly. You can still do stuff, but you're not going to have this free movement like that. That's just some of the pros and cons of ring sling. One shoulder will be slightly restricted. So you can wear your baby straight on center, off center or on your hip. Um, most people do off center and it's just really good for summer because uh or general most of our heat comes straight off our chest so if baby's off center they're going to avoid some of that heat and that's why a lot of people use ring slings to keep cool um so specifically about this hug above one is that it's a cotton material but it's woven in a way that makes it airy so you can actually see straight through it um it's got little holes and it just breathes so well. It's so lightweight. And I actually just love how small it goes as well. So I can just throw this in my handbag like this. It doesn't weigh much at all, it just fits in. Pull it out and chuck it on nice and quick and easy. And then it's just so breathable as well. So I'm still using this with my two and a half year old daughter and it's more than comfy enough for us. So we were walking around Brisbane city the other week with it and oh, it's just, don't you just love when you find a carrier that works for you and you just, everything goes well and you just feel so empowered and happy and that's what it should be for you as well. So, enjoy the tutorial with the tips and those two ones I just gave you now. Um, any further questions you have, feel free to message me on the Facebook page, Book Marie Baby Wearing Education Online Store or send me an email to info at brookmarie.com.au and I'd be more than happy to help you. Take care and I will see you again soon. Bye.